Well, 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 I guess you can say the uh, spring cleaning has started. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been wanting this for a while. I've been really wanting the WWE to thin them out their roster. And they have. We got some big news today. Samoa Joe, Billy Kay, Mickey James, and other superstars released. Let's get into it. So the WWE has come to terms on the recent on the release of Samoa Joe, Billy Kay, Pick Royce, Mickey James, Justin Green, Tucker, Kalisto, Mojo Raleigh, Bo Dallas, and Wesley Blake. Wish them the best of luck in their future endeavors. Um some of these names I expect to get released. And some of these names don't even need to be on the roster. There are a couple big names that I'm surprised by, and then there are some names that shouldn't be released at all. On the names that I can agree that need to be released, one is Chelsea Green. Like they brought her up to WWE, and they used her in NXT very little. They call her up the main roster. She broke her wrist on two occasions, and then they released her. Um, I can get that one. Now, if you're not using her and she's out of the injury, then what's the point of having her on the roster? You know, I, I don't think she should have came into the company to begin with. She should have stayed in TNA. So I can agree with that. Um, I can agree with Tucker. As soon as they were starting to push Otis, I knew he was gone. Peyton Royce, as soon as they broke up, as soon as they broke up the Iconics, I knew she was gone. So it does make sense. They haven't used them in the past couple of years. I never really liked the guy, so get rid of him. Wesley Blake, yeah, I mean, they did nothing with him as soon as they took the Forgotten Sons off of TV. I knew his days were limited. I mean, they just fired Kyler, so that pretty much sealed the deal. As far as the names, I'm surprised by uh, Mojo Raleigh. Like he's, he's friends with Gronk and, he, and Gronk has a working agreement with WWE, so I'm surprised by that. I'm not shocked. I would have released him too, but surprising. A uh, Kalisto, same thing. I would have released him too. You know, they, they didn't really do anything much with him. They should not have broken up the Lucha Dragons. But you know, I, I, I was a fan of Kalisto when John Cena introduced him. On SmackDown, Lucha Dragons, that type of stuff. He was Cruiserweight Champion, beat Enzo Amore. Even though I hated the Lucha House Party stuff. <laughs> I, I, I got what they were trying to do with that. And he had a comfortable position. So they released him. I'm, I'm shocked. I don't know why they didn't fire Grand Metalik or Lindsay Dorado. I don't know. Maybe their contracts weren't firing yet. Um, Billy Kane, that does surprise me because she is featured at WrestleMania. She had a comfortable spot. So I'm surprised they got rid of Billy Kane, but no. A lot of these names I could easily release. As far as the two big names, one is Mickey James, and the WWE did nothing with it. She was great in TNA. She had a great match with Oscar in NXT. They called her up the main roster. I like what she did with Alexa Bliss. After that, they started jobbing her out to people like, you know, Oscar and Selena Vega. She was injured and she was out of action for a long time. And she was a content I'm like, look, in the event. Uh, and they, they buried Mickey James. It's a shame. So I was a fan of her. They had finished tenure in a TNA. Oh, well. They should go to NWA with her husband, Nick Aldis. But, you know, it's a shame. But I can see why they released her. I don't think they should have, but she was out of injury for the past couple of years, and they were really doing nothing with her. So I can see why they released her. And then there's Samoa Joe. And this really angers me. It, it really, it really does piss me off. I was a big fan of Samoa Joe and TNA. He was awesome. Because in the NXT, he was all right there. Then they bring out the main roster and they start jobbing out, jobbing him out to people. They job him out with Seth Rollins, job him out with Brock Lesnar, 
drawn out the Roman Reigns. He's drawn out 500 times to AJ Styles. Then he gets a couple of concussions, and now he's a commentator. Great, he's Taz 2.0. I see why they released him. Yeah, I mean, they did nothing with him. You know. Uh, he, had, he was injury prone. He had, you know, foot injuries, concussions. He was a commentator. So he didn't really have a purpose during his final year in the company. You got to ask yourself, why did they do nothing with him? Why did they make him a world champion? I mean, why did they have to bury him and job him out to people? That's what angered me. But uh, Samoa Joe, he's been released. What can you say? Who's next? Oscar Black next? I don't know. But that's all I got. But to the nine superstars, he got released. I got two words for it. You are fired.